visited the Cyberdyne Robotics Research Studio in Chukoba, Japan, to have a glimpse on the latest high-tech robotic suit used in stroke and brain injury rehabilitation. Right here, the Cyberdyne demonstrator showed me how the robotic suit responds to brain signals as they reach the muscles. Oh, really? Just by thinking? Yeah, just by thinking. It was... <laughs> yeah. So you're oh. thinking of moving? So you must want to move the muscles, and regardless of how much signals reach from the brain, the robot will respond. To simulate how a patient with a stroke feels, the staff place a 6 kg weight around my left foot. Happy. <laughs> you did exercise every day. <laughs> it's heavy. Yes. So they, they, they go like that. So yeah. It's heavy. They, they feel happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's some people, it's and the foot goes in. Yes. Now I'm ready to put on the suit. So the robot will assist the patient to walk properly with the lifting leg. Instead of uh, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, the patient would. Can you feel the weights are on? Just no, I don't feel the weights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even if the uh, robot can't pick up the signal, uh, it will uh, read the, uh, the weight, mm -hmm. weight balance and we will uh, force the body to move. I continue to have the 6 kg weights in my left foot and because I wear the robotic suit, I don't feel any weight difference at all between my right and my left side. This indicates that the robotic suit had made the precise calculations as to how much assistance to give my left side so I won't feel the weight difference as I walk. So technically, the brain signals do not need to reach the muscles. As the weight difference between each leg is detected while walking, the robotic suit will make the necessary corrections in how much input to give the weaker leg. I tried to simulate being a hemiplegic throughout my time in this robotic suit and it continued to assist my walking even if I vary the degree of the problem. I tried many things with the suit including squatting as if I'm picking objects from the floor and the assistance I felt is truly remarkable. Hopefully, I can take this technology to the UK and will benefit many of my patients.